this year, the Vegas Golden Knights became Stanley Cup champions, and fans took to the streets to celebrate in style. One of the team's broadcast analysts, Shane Knighty, had the honor of helping to MC the victory celebration, a night that he and many others will never forget. Take me back to the Stanley Cup parade and the rally. What was that like to experience the big celebration? Uh, for as much as I had built it up, probably over the years, if I go back to year one when they were in the final wondering what would happen, to year six when they actually accomplished it, uh, it exceeded my wildest expectations. It was just uh, a wonderful thing and, and something I'll never forget rolling down Las Vegas Boulevard and uh, you know pulling in and then it just built from there. The thing that sits with me the most was um, when I had the chance to be on stage. You guys like to hear from your head coach. Yeah! To stand up there and look out and just, wow, the people there, the lights of Vegas. Yeah! I know Dave Gosher and I got the chance to kind of MC it. Although the script, I, cool I, I know, that? I will say this, there's one of those things where you can get a script and you might as well rip it up because there was nothing that went by script when we get up there. This was just pure joy, celebration, oh, yeah. fun. These years all of the hard things. work exactly. that come together, and for you being a former player, getting to see the players and the joy that came through their faces, and, and the fans felt just like it was just a huge, huge day for them. You know, following along this journey and just being so excited. I'm sure the energy was just insane that day. And it is. And, and what I love is, is the players, and you know, when we give answers and we speak. Throughout a season, it's very calculated and to the point and business-like. That, that was certainly no, not the case, and that's the way it should be. That was just the, the true excitement of being able to accomplish a lot, you know, lifelong dream for all those guys, and they were in the moment. Right? That's the big thing: is to be in the moment. Uh, you know, I had the chance to do it as a player, and, and it goes by so quickly. My biggest thing is just enjoy every second of it, and they certainly did, and the fans have, and. Uh, you know, it, it is so unique and special what this organization, uh, what Bill Foley did bringing this team here to accomplish that goal in six years. There are franchises that have been around forever, and, and that's why maybe the Golden Knights are a little disliked. I think it's because of jealousy, but hey, I'll take it all day long as long as they continue to be competitive and they win. And, you can't ever take it away. No. Stanley Cup champion. Exactly. Now, is there anything special planned for that opening day? I'm assuming the Stanley Cup will be there. What will happen is it'll be the official banner raising. It's kind of the final piece to me. You win the cup, and then it's celebrations all the way through. We've seen the cup paraded, all the players, staff, everybody's had a chance, fans, to celebrate it. Now that banner goes up. It's kind of the final celebration. Now you turn the page, and they try to defend being Stanley Cup champions and try and do it again. Fans have been coming to see the Stanley Cup champions practice here at City National Arena. Let's go check it out. it feel to be back on the ice getting ready for another season? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, short summer, but also always excited to get back. So, you know, obviously it's a different different training camp. Coming back with a kind of a bullseye on your back. You know, teams are going to want to be gunning for us. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely excited to kind of get things rolling here. Uh, it's good to be back. Good to be back in the locker room with the guys. Uh, it's lots of fun coming to the rink. So that's definitely the best part. Now, do you think that there's a certain type of pressure that comes with being the Stanley Cup champions or extra confidence that going into the season that you guys are just going off of? Uh, I think we're confident. Most of the guys, are, we're returning a lot of the guys we had from last year's team. You know, I don't think there's any added pressure. We put pressure on ourselves. Um, you know, especially ever since I've been here, we've put pressure on ourselves to win, so uh, it doesn't change. We still have that same pressure that uh, we put on ourselves to, uh, you know, to, to put ourselves in a position to compete for the Stanley Cup, which starts with the, you know, the 82 games uh, grind of a regular season. And then once you, if you're fortunate enough to get in there, uh, you got to try and win four more series just to, uh, to do it again. So um, it's going to take a lot of effort, but um, no, we're super excited. Being here since day one, you kind of see it, you know, evolve and 
we were fortunate enough to make it a you know a winning franchise right from the start. Cap it off with winning what we all had. It. Our goal in mind is you know amazing, amazing feeling individually, organizationally, and for the city. So uh, and now the tricks to do it again, which you know isn't easy, but we know that we prepared for it and we're ready to go. If you haven't already gotten your Stanley Cup merch, don't worry, there's still time. Here at the Arsenal inside City National Arena, they have a wide variety of things to choose from, including your very own mini Stanley Cup. I can't wait to see you all back at the Fortress for another amazing season of Hockey in the Desert. Until next time, I'm Samantha Cheon. Spirit of Nevada is proudly brought to you by Richard Harris Law Firm. For more information, visit richardharrislaw.com. Watch new episodes of Spirit of Nevada on the channels listed below.